29, 1954, in the art of Bogeka Gesoni, the home of Sakawa, in the family of the late Mze Simon Okemwa, a child was born. A third born in a family of 15. He would be named Joseph Mairura Okemwa, a very prayerful family that Joseph would inherit these virtues in his entire life. Sometimes his prayerful nature causing a conflict among his siblings. Little did they know that it was the beginning of Joseph's long journey into the shepherdhood of Kisi Diocese. I was born in Moruka, uh, the, the home of Sakawa. And Sakawa uh, is my great great grandfather. So we lived at the foot of the hill where our land bordered with his. And that was 1954, towards the end. Then my father, having worked in different places, he came home, stayed a bit, and then went to, to look for a job in the tea estates. So the Wasungus took him because of his army Second World War experience and put him in charge of the whole estate in Kipkebe. That is where I first went to school, a kind of nursery school, who are being taught by a European. And by the time we finished the standard uh, one and two, my English was, was good. I could uh, converse with the Englishmen that came to the estate. But then it didn't last long because they didn't want to educate people. They wanted people to remain in a certain class so that they can govern them. So my father took me to Mongolis. This is the school where we have our Lord Bishop, where is his school before he left out. So when he was schooling here, he was here around 1966. And by then, the head teacher was there, was called Mr. James Ondieki, uh, by then when Isop was here. I was here in Mauritius, Mairura, Joseph Mairura, and by the way, I was here in Kisi. I was here in Mauritius, I was here in Mauritius, I was here in Mauritius, I was here Kitu cha kwanza kabisa ni kumupongesa askofu wetu kwa hii miaka 25 askofu na mpongesa sana na mwambia mungu. Consequently, his lordship transferred his education to Nyaure Primal School and owing to his good educational background, he was promoted to standard form. At Nyaure Primal School, the bishop took his studies up to standard 7 where he performed very well and was selected to join Nakuru High School. I had passed very well. I was actually selected to go to Nakuru High School, but I... I decided to go to the seminary. In the seminary, the rules there were tough. We had to go for prayers, we had to be disciplined, and so on. We were told this is not a normal second school, you are going to be priests. So the habits of the priests were uh, passed on to us uh, at an early age. Uh, by that time, our principal was uh, Father Rawlinson, and then Okanga came in, and then Okwachi came in, and uh, we finished with Okwachi. Uh, in the seminary, I liked basketball. <laughs> you can't believe it, but I was among the team that played basketball, basketball, uh, and I did it quite well, and I passed it to the tall ones to score. Uh, after that, uh, I I passed very well. I had a division one. I was uh, a student with uh, uh, the, the present bishop of the Diocese of Kisi, uh, Bishop Joseph Okemo Mairura. 
we were together in St. John's Seminary Rakwaro as students in the minor seminary in the year 1973. I was with him until 1975. And then from there, he continued while I left to another school. Uh, on his education background, he was, um, in fact, a very bright man who used to be uh, uh, the best student in the school. I met the Bishop Joseph Mairura in Form 1, 1974, at St. John's Seminary we, we uh, With our education, we started from 1 up to Form 4. He was a very good student in English. Kiswahili, uh, Latin. Those subjects used to go even 100%. And they took portion one from form one up to form four. His excellent performance impressed the then bishop, his lordship, Tiberius Mugendi, who took him to Cardinal Tunga High School. Again, due to his strong interest in the seminary, he only finished two years there before going back to a seminary at Mabanga. He performed very well from here and was selected to join St. Thomas Aquinas Nairobi for his sacred theological studies that would take four years. He was later ordained as a deacon and a priest in 1986 and 1987 respectively alongside his closest friends Masese and Mainye. Hence the three M's as Mze Nyambasora refers to them. Me, I used to refer to them as the three M, Masese, M, Mainye, M, Mairura, the three of them. All the with names starting with M. So they met, they were ordained uh, at uh, the stadium. And it was something very, very big in Kisi. His ordination as a deacon and uh, priest and bishop, we witnessed. Bishop Joseph has been a very outstanding uh, man in character, in discipline, morally, academically, and uh, spiritually. As a priest, he was posted to work in Homer Bay Parish as a collaborator. I know that he worked here yeah, in Homer Bay under uh, Reverend Father John Philip Odero. What I remember about him uh, being a very pleasant man, outgoing person. Some of his students from Rakwaro Seminary include Father Dennis Rogena, the parish priest of Nyabururu, Father Ivan Smititi, the parish priest of Manga. I remember having met him first when he came to Rakwaro Minor Seminary and he taught me Kiswahili when I was in Form 1. <laughs> While his students from Mabanga Senior Seminary include Archbishop of Kisumu, Most Reverend Maurice Muhatia. I have known Bishop Joseph Mairura for a long time because he was my teacher. He taught me philosophy in St. Augustine's uh, uh, Senior Seminary and he was a very, very interesting, interesting uh, teacher. Archbishop Joseph Obanyi of Kakamega Diocese and Bishop Mongera of Kitui Diocese. Father Jeremiah Nyakundi, Father Christopher Oira, Father Stephen Orioki, and Father Lucas Mogi. He was then given an opportunity to further his studies in Rome where he completed his doctoral degree in philosophy. Towards the completion of his studies, he was appointed as the Bishop of Kisi Diocese that had just given birth to Oma Bay Diocese. Bishop Mairura has served faithfully in Kisi Diocese for a period of 25 years to date. This year, the entire Kisi Diocese celebrates its silver jubilee of service. 
Spiritually, the diocese has made remarkable strides since his lordship took over from his predecessor, the late Bishop Tiberius Mugendi. The number of parishes increased from 15 at the time of his consecration as a bishop of Kisi Diocese in July 2, 1995, to the current 29 parishes spread across the entire diocese. Some of the new parishes opened by his lordship include Mawawa Parish opened in 1998, Suneka Parish opened in 2009, Ogembo Parish opened in 2011, Amasago Parish opened in 2017, Marani Parish opened in 2018, Masimba Parish opened in 2018, Nyamarambe Parish opened in 2020, Nyakegogi Parish opened in 2020, Nyakora Parish opened in 2021, Ekerwo Parish opened in 2021, Irondi Parish opened in 2021, Mosocho Parish opened in 2021, Magena Parish opened in 2021, and Nyamache Parish opened in 2021. <laughs> At the time of his appointment, the priests were very few. He then impacted on increasing the number of priests who would later lead to the rise in number of the parishes so as to reach more people in pastoral work. That's of the bishop. And he's the, the first bishop. I found few or fewer priests. But now, we can count many of them. This, this, this is something uh, we can uh, count as an achievement. He has supported the seminarians. He has supported the priests. Not only the assistant, but also missionary priests. He has ordained many of them whenever he's asked to ordain them. <laughs> Evidently, the diocese has increased membership of the Catholic congregants from about 300,000 members to over 700,000 members. Uh, since the bishop took over, uh, the, there is a notable uh, growth, growth in uh, every sector. If I may talk on the spiritual uh, growth, uh, he took over uh, during uh, difficult times and uh, the, to reach the people was not very easy because of the road network and uh, lack of uh, communication and uh, vehicles were not as, uh, as many as they are and not available. And uh, the people uh, did not have access to the Bible, but now people have an access to the Bible on phones and uh, in uh, bookshops. So the, the spiritual growth has, is, uh, is tremendous. They can now more or less stand on their own because they can read, they can watch TV, and they can uh, um, have access to other materials that help them to grow. So the notable uh, spiritual growth combined uh, within the pastoral uh, uh, area or the pastoral office, you can see now people can uh, can pray, they can go for adoration, they can go for retreats, and they can um, they, 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 they meet for different uh, functions that help them to even to, to develop further. So they have uh, they have grown. It is in this sense that his lordship acknowledges that kisses are very religious, evident from the manner in which they attend services in large numbers. Thanks to his eminence Cardinal Maurice Otunga the first African bishop in 1960 who founded the Kisi Diocese in strong spiritual principles. Uh, the Kisis uh, are very serious with their faith. Very serious, I've, I've always asked what, what, what happened in Kisi that they are so faithful to, to, to their faith, to going to church. The, the churches are full. Even if you told them that there was corona, they were hanging around the fence there, uh, and you cannot sway them from their belief. And I found an answer why. The answer lies in uh, the servant of God, Otunga, 
who founded this diocese. He was the first African uh, bishop here, because where he was, there was the Rapa, a military priest, an or bishop. So he was appointed here in, in 1960. Uh, he, he founded this this diocese, and he founded the diocese on spiritual principles, not material principles. If he had founded the diocese on material principles, then the spirituality we see today would have not been there. Bishop has also influenced many people to join the clergy. For instance, His Lordship Bishop Joseph Obanyi of the Kakamega Diocese was inspired by His Lordship Bishop Joseph Mairura to join priesthood. He was the second lot of priests to be ordained by His Lordship in 1996 and later sent him to Rome for further studies. He was also Bishop Mairura's students of philosophy at Mabanga Seminary and recalls how His Lordship and the nickname KY, which meant Kiboko Yao, owing to his wonderful teaching skills. He was teaching us philosophy, a very interesting uh, uh, course, uh, ancient philosophy, uh, logic, and so on. He was one of the greatest teachers I've ever seen. This is my confession. Uh, his teaching mode kept us always very interested to hear more from him. And as uh, interesting as he was, you know, Komiko, he, he uses simple terms, and yet he's able to explain deep things. Uh, we actually call him that time uh, K.Y. All my classmates know him as K.Y. Now, K.Y. was the term used those days to mean Kiboko Yao. And the Kiboko Yao is somebody who who is very good, you know, uh, somebody who is very good. And therefore, uh, I've known him as a great man. And then, of course, when he was consecrated bishop, I was a deacon then. And uh, I remember I'm the one who held the Bible over his head. So that also had a deep impression on me. I mean, uh, how a bishop is, uh, is consecrated. And uh, we had a very special um, uh, connection because I was the only deacon and therefore he needed the deacon to go with him around the parishes when he was visiting the parishes as a new bishop and therefore I got to learn more and more about him, to know him more and more the way he, he feels about things and his vision for the diocese of Kisi. In education his Lordship takes credit as an educationist. Immediately after his ordination as a bishop, his first project was to take his priest for further studies. He believes in educating his priest. Of course, in the 21st century, uh, where everybody is struggling to become uh, a PhD holder, he believes he cannot have uh, priests or uh, dwarfs in academics. So what he has done after uh, training at the major seminaries and after ordination, he sends priests for further studies outside and within the country. My name is Father Bernard Utunga. I come from uh, the Kisi diocese and uh, I was born and raised under the cathedral. And currently, I'm studying in Rome together with my brothers, Father Thomas Ongwai Matoke, Father Laban Evans Chuma, Father Ronald Conserio, Father George Makori, and Father Godfrey Otoke. And we look forward to more fruitful years uh, with you, uh, my Lord Bishop, as our shepherd in the dust of Kisi. May God bless you, may God bless the work of your hands, may God lead you, may he continue to renew your strength and your vigor to carry out the mission in which God entrusted you to. May our mother Mary continue to intercede for, for you and may the work of evangelization in our diocese continue to be sown for eternal harvest. Ad multos annos, so I challenge. Dear riches men and women, dear people of God, before you are a student priest, 
in the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. The institutions include Father Ucho Girls Primal Boarding, St. Mary's Riabore Boys, St. Vincent de Paul Boys Boarding, Sister Michaela Girls, St. Teresa's Gekano Girls, Bishop Mairura Nyamawa Mission School, St. Alois Mathibo Mission School, Nyamache Mission School, Nyambera Mission School, Ogembo Mission School, among others. He has also established the Pope Benedict the 16th Minor Seminary Masongo that has since helped in offering spiritual education. We started with 73 students. But now we have around 300 students. That's the, the, the population of the school. We have to say that uh, the diocese has met its objective. That is whatever this seminary was meant to achieve. That is mentoring the young ones, educating the young ones to be responsible members of the society. That's what this seminary is doing and is achieving it. That over 500 students have passed through this place. And a number of them have joined university and others are middle level colleges and others have joined priesthood. It means we are achieving the objective why this seminary was founded. We thank the bishop for having initiated this project. The Kisi Diocese, as under his leadership, also partnered with the Kenyan government to establish a number of educational centers, including Yabururu Girls, Kadnotunga High School, Mosocho, Yansiongo Boys, Ichuni Girls, Sengera Girls, Nyamawa Boys, St. Mary's Mosocho Boys, Tabaka Girls, Gekano Boys, Rangenyo Girls, among others, in a nutshell. He has done so much for our diocese and the Gushi community, and most particularly in education. He has established many institutions, and I think when he came to the office in 1995, and he gave me a very serious homework of making sure that we have enough schools, enough learning institutions for our increasing population in our community. So in terms of three main areas, as I stated earlier, the first one is the formation of learners. Actually, formation of learners in the Catholic school comes first, not academic excellence, because we have to form the learners to, to have life skills and also to know that they are human beings who are supposed to serve society. That's what we stress in the Catholic sponsored schools. Two, academic excellence. Some of our schools are doing very well in academics. If I come to national exams, our boarding schools, all our boarding schools, start from under Okawa boys and Okawa girls, but the Ucho Ichuni, go or the Ucho Tabaka girls, the St. Mary's, the boys, St. Mary's girls, uh, name them. This, those schools do very well. When we come to secondary schools, some of our schools are doing very well in the national exams, and we, we, we hope, and they know that the sky is the lower limit. We are encouraging them to move on to improve their academics. I have worked in these institutions, starting Rangenyo, Ichuni Girls, uh, and right now I'm at Nyabururu. We have partnered well, and it's not only in these institutions, all the principals who have worked under the Diocese of Kisi and uh, willingly wanting to improve our institutions. We want to appreciate uh, the support his Lordship has always given us. Uh, I want to uh, take this opportunity to say congratulations, uh, my Lord. You have done us great. You have done us proud. We love you. And any time I want to reveal this, you get a group of principals talking about his lordship, they will always refer to him as Sokoro. When, and this is because of what you are to us, you are the Ibrahim of Kisi Diocese. Thank you so much, and may God bless you, my lord the bishop. May God continue 
guarding you, protecting you, giving you good health as we continue uh, improving our institutions. Thank you so much and may God bless you. It is through this principle of self-reliance that the diocese has learned to stand on its own without depending on grants and realized a huge milestone that the bishop will be remembered in the ages to come. There is no diocese in the world that does not have self-reliance. Even when we go to America to beg, they, they, they have self-reliance uh, dates when the Christians, they contribute to the diocese. Even in Europe, self-reliance is there and uh, they are sustaining that. So in Africa, uh, this is also taking shape and that is how the church will live. That is how the church will meet its obligations. If we can't meet our obligations, then the kingdom of Christ will not grow and we want it to grow. There is one mini plus or other. Bishop Myra, that's an achievement. It is about to be finished. He has insisted, he has encouraged us to support that uh, Waumini Plaza, which is located at St. Vincent Pastoral Center, right in Kisi. Once it gets finished, it will bring our diocese to be self supportive Socially, the bishop is a very jovial man. His sermons are very touching, says Sister Giovanna Mora, the provincial superior Kenya and Uganda. I am very happy that I have known Bishop Rokema of the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. He's the third bishop in this diocese. Bishop loves his work. He loves the Christians. He loves all God's people. Bishop knows the history of the diocese. He knows the people, his shepherds, his priests, sisters. He knows them. And that also uh, makes his, his work as a shepherd complete. Bishop will always prepare himself very well when there is a function. Prepares himself very well. And his homily is usually very touching. It, gives, it makes you reflect. And you can't come back the way you went, you come back better. Our Christians, the faith has grown. Bishop has done a lot. He has ordained so many priests in this diocese. He has received vows of many consecrated men and women in this diocese. Sisters of the Blessed Virgin included. His congregants describe him as being one who is full of humor, evident during Mass and other fora. For instance, His Lordship Bishop Joseph Mairura also likes singing with gestures during Mass, something that has led to active participation from his congregants. <laughs> His Lordship has also endeavored to improve the livelihood of his priests. Instead of the initial motorbikes that were being used by priests, he was able to give vehicles to priests in his diocese. You know, we were using motorbikes. In fact, when I was ordained in 1989, I used a motorbike for two years. And several times I fell. Several times I was injured. But when our Lordship took over, he said, now we declare the end of motorbikes. So he said, we have to get vehicles for the priest. So 
he, put, he brought an end to motorbikes. I would like also on this point to thank his lordship. Uh, this 25 years, he always encourages us as his clergy uh, that we continue serving the people. Let us be available to the people. Let us not have other projects other than the people that we are serving. So that's where he has placed us. We have to be present, available to the people. May he be blessed by God as a shepherd of our houses to do greater things. May God grant you, my Lord Bishop, good health of mind and body as you continue to steer this diocese to great heights of spiritual and material development in, uh, among your people. He has also extended his support to the Carmelite Sisters of Manga. I'm proud, proud of being in a diocese and having our beloved, our beloved father, Bishop Joseph Mairuga, shepherding us. The construction of our monastery would not have happened without the help of our bishop. He has been there. Projects, for any project he has, we have written, he has signed. The coverage letters have always been there. He has supported us in every way. Even last year when we celebrated our Silver Jubilee, we combined it with Arambi, trying to raise funds for the construction of the monastery. And the support we got from the diocese was overwhelming. So this monastery, we would not be where we are today if we did not have the kind of bishop we have. And so we say thank you. We are grateful that he recognizes our presence. He appreciates our presence. And he does all in his power to support us. Even the car we have presently was a gift from the from the bishop. So we really want to thank him and to tell him, to promise him our prayers, we'll continue to do our best. And we ask for his prayers because as Carmelites, we say we don't pray, we want to become prayer. He's a, a bishop, a man of faith, a man of courage, a man of fortitude, trusting in the Lord who has carried him from where we started to where we are today. We are very grateful for your spiritual input and encouragement, making us feel, uh, although hidden, but we are a, a part of the diocese. Sometimes, because of the love for education, he would even cane his nephews and nieces whenever they did not do well. He is a very strict man, mostly in terms of education and when it comes to discipline. He could beat us thoroughly, so maybe we improve in our education. And mostly, he could always ask for our podcast when it comes to closing day. The first thing you could submit to him before even you greet him was a report book to show what you have done in school. He was very determined to make sure that the people who come from his family are well educated. They receive good education and actually has taken us to good schools. That's why you see us we are who we are now. Among the challenges faced by the Bishop Mairura in the last 25 years of his service include began by paying the debts. That is that was very well granted financially became almost zero. And then we are debts that took me 12 years to pay. And then in the meantime, the Christians uh, helped me. We, we paid the debts in 12 years. And then we began doing our own things. We built uh, now proper churches. I finished Nyamira because Mugend was about to finish it, but I finished it. Then uh, we came to Nyangusu, it's a big church there. We finished it. Uh, it took quite a bit of money. And then, because the nuns who opened that church, I asked him whether he can give me a donation for a tab. He gave me $50,000. <laughs> so 
So we went and started a tago with the help of uh, Father Fons Giertz, who was the parish priest. We were able to finish the uh, tago. It's a beautiful church. Then we came to Ogembo. Ogembo, there was a problem with the plots. So I said, instead of somebody taking me the little that they had given me from overseas, we can build a small church there. And we did. Uh, that church there was not supposed to be there. It was supposed to be elsewhere. But because we didn't have land there, we built it. And then we went to Sengara, a big church also. Uh, people are very happy with it. Uh, and then the other churches that have come up, uh, Suneka is a very big church. Uh, it can carry 2,800 people. Then we come to Kisi Town Parish. The new church there can, can also carry 2,000. Uh, then we went to Nyansiongo, uh, an equally big church. It can, it can carry 2,500. And then Ichuni. Ichuni, I was given the money for the foundation from Rome. Uh, we started Ichuni and then the people got together and finished Ichuni. Uh, those are the ones that I can mention now. 1980s, Kinkunyura Mwakabuya, Sunita Four, Arachamne, Omo Seminary, Bishop Mailu, Nkamuta Limono, Nkinakumuta Kiras. To a sang in a bishop. Tiri arenge o tarare ya mna wasimnali wa gachira mo ni team na ndoa vera se fada Luis yoyenge fada ni chajinga kile yese mi ake mingi. We have grown very well as far as spiritual is concerned. Now, if you look at our parish here, we have got a lot of schools here which have come up because of our bishop. We have Saint Kawa girls. Kawa boys and others. We have done well and they are doing. Sasa alile ilimiza wengi. Na kutokana na kipawa hicho chake, nimeona kwamba pia tumepata mabadri wengi kutoka hapa nyansiongo, siu chini ya kumi. I'm Mary Ratemo, the chairperson of Catholic Women Association, St. Charles Wanga Cathedral. I'm grateful that I'm here to talk about our bishop, who is celebrating 25 years uh, being a bishop. We want to congratulate you as women of the Catholic Church, and we have always appreciated the good work you are doing for us. I picked one thing from him. He's a bishop full of humor. When you attend Mass, when you meet him at any forum, is somebody who will make you, who will lighten your face, who will make you smile, who will make you feel good. I want to appreciate the good work our bishop has done so far in our parish. Uh, we are uh, in a system where we embrace democracy. And thus, the bishop has given us that freedom to embrace democracy in our parish. The last 20 years, doing the apostolate among the children here in Father Ucho, I have seen that bishop has really done a lot. Bishop has improved. Bishop has taken over from some things which were not there the parish has grown so much we have now 26 outstations after being carved two times that is masimba parish was carved from this parish and uh, last year irondi parish was also carved from this parish we have many schools here, secondary schools and the primary schools, which are sponsored by our bishop, healthy institutions, and uh, 
tú por Tecno. Also supported us in education. He is the one who has paid our school fees from uh, all the way from Mabanga, St. Thomas, Aquinas, and actually now we are doing higher studies in education. I'm Lordship, thank you so much for your dedication, for your love towards the Christians, for your love towards the religious men and women, for your love towards the minority. I can uh, tell him that thanks a lot to my Lord Bishop for what you have done to our diocese. Bishop, our Bishop of Kisi Diocese, I congratulate you very much for what you have done recently. We built the church. This church costed us around 100 million. This is a modern church, a very beautiful church, and we thank this Lordship, the bishop, for, for consecrating it on March 2020. I'm Father Jeremiah Nyakunde Amenya. A father in church, uh, St. Andrew Kawa, Suneka, Paris, uh, since May 2020. As our bishop marks 25 years of his episcopate, I would like to wish him the very best in his episcopate. He is a gift to our diocese. We pray for him that God may continue to bless him as he has always done, to grant him many more years to continue shepherding our diocese. May God bless you, my Lord Bishop, and I wish you the very best in your pastor engagements. Actually, it is the first parish in the KC, a missionary parish, whereby Bishop gave us. So our charism is to take care of the sick. I'm Father Daniel Moasmose. I come from KC Cathedral Parish, the Congregation of Contemporary Evangelizers of the Heart of Christ. I am here to thank the Bishop, right the Reverend Joseph Mayro Kemwa. I knew him when I was not a boy. I remember him when he bought for us the first clothes, servers clothes, when he was consecrated as Bishop in the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. And I congratulate him for the 25 years. He has been an icon of faith in this diocese. We have worked together. He has really assisted us in, uh, in, uh, in, our, in the development of the parish. And also the bishop, when we started building the, 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 the convent, in fact, he has, he has really assisted us. He gave us some money to, for, the, for, the, for the convent. When you come to the spiritual part, my friend, I'm not too old in the church, but I can tell you for free that I never used to see Catholic men association, Catholic women association, the youth, the PMC, the catechists, and everybody like that. But now, these are devotional movements. And in our diocese, uh, the men have had a platform from where they can think as men, look at themselves as men. Women look at themselves as women. They discuss their matters. In also, they discuss several things that affect them as women, as mothers, as who. In this way, I can tell you, uh, pastorally, our bishop is holistic. Holistic.
My Lord Bishop, we are grateful from Nyakora as a new parish which has taken uh, about seven months to grow. Wakati Bishop alikuwa udeni tukua Bishop, indio parish ya kwanza amba alifungua alianzi ya kazi zake. Bishop wa metufanya kazi nzuri, akicha kila wakati tunapo kutana katika mkutano wake, wana tuambia tuwe na amali. He opened a convent uh, in the year uh, 2018, uh, December, whereby we have uh, school sisters of Notre Dame who are learning a school, St. Gizito, a mission school, a primary school, which uh, again our Lord Bishop opened in the year 2000. And we want to thank our Lord Bishop and to congratulate him for the 25 years he has served in our diocese and we wish him a good health of mind and body that God may give him strength to continue serving his people in our diocese. CWA ime tusaidia sisi sana. Afile tukiungana pamoja kama parukia, kama magrubu, uko nani, tunaenda, tunachisaidia. Wakina mama walikuwa wajijui lakini siku hizi wakina mama wamesajijua kile kitu wanafanya Asikovu ameweza kupatiana upadilisho katika chimbo la kisi. Mapadri wakati alipoanza kazi walikuwa wachache sasa wamekuwa wengi na tunaendelea kupata ufunguzi wa parokia zingine ambazo zimekuwa nyingi katika chimbo la kisi. na hata hapa Kebirigo tuko na ingine ya kerema ambayo inaendelea ku Tengenezwa. na hivi karibuni tunaomba ya kwamba itafunguliwa na itakuwa katika orodha za parokia zetu za kisi. Otherwise we pray that God keeps you strong, give you the wisdom and uh, let your life influence uh, the people of this diocese and not only this diocese and the other diocese. Otherwise we thank you and we pray that the good Lord will keep you long enough so that you make it more priests and more Christians who would enjoy and would praise you and praise God on you, your behalf. Thank you. Sisi watoto wa missionary, tunajivunia askofu wetu. Yeye ni mchungaji wetu, kila mwaka tuajumika nae. Yeye usomea misa ya kufungua mwaka na kutubariki. Sherea ya jubilei ya kendezu kia. Kwa sababu tunatemea pamoja, Kwa niyama ya watoto watu wa vishonari wa jimbo letu la kisi, tunakupa mkono wa zaania. Kongole, kongole, baba askofu, tunakufunia kofia, tunakuombea maisha marefu, baba askofu, asante. Bishop, as you celebrate your silver jubilee as a bishop, I congratulate you and I pray for you that the good Lord may bless you with many years of service in this vineyard. And you may continue having an influence, influencing the lives of many more people, especially in their pastoral life, in their spiritual life, and as you journey with them together, the salvation given us by God in Jesus Christ. Bishop Mairula, as you celebrate your 25 years, remember, we cherish you, we love you, and we always remember your work, which has been great in the diocese, of Kisi. And we wish you really great blessings from God in your work. We wish you God's many graces, even as you continue to serve without letting go, because you have served well. You have been a faithful servant. And congratulations. And may you be preserved and be given the health and the wisdom to continue shepherding the people of Kisi as you continue growing in faith and as you steer them to greater heights of holiness. Congratulations and multos annus to you. My Lord Bishop, our shepherd, I can recollect as your priest that you have really suffered in sickness where you are working. But you have never given up. Today, as you celebrate 
your 25 years given to you by the Lord, I wish, first of all, to thank Almighty God for you as our bishop and to pray for you that you will continue to guide us through the inspirations that God gives to you. My Lord Bishop, it's, great, it's our great joy and a pleasure to join you in celebrating your Silver Jubilee. And on behalf of all my sisters, I would like to congratulate the Bishop on the Silver Jubilee. His Lordship, uh, the Bishop, learned with my husband at Cardinal Tunga High School. On behalf of our family, Charles Ogutu, Joyce Ogutu and our children, we want to take this opportunity to congratulate you, my Lord Bishop, uh, for uh, the good work you have done and you have been a source of encouragement to us as a family. Congratulations and may God bless you. We are glad that Bishop Mayro is going to celebrate his 25th anniversary and we really can't wait for that day, my Lordship. We want to congratulate you and wish you all the best. In a very special way, I want to thank the Bishop for this great work he has done. Chengo Tayanga Bishop Wuminto Mbuyamono, Pasenga Chi Nyasako, Konyre Pakaku, what city wai Kirega, Okum Ogotoy Rimir, Ogotoy Mangana Maya Christo. Our Lord Bishop, Right Reverend Joseph Mariba Okemwa, congratulations for your silver chupili. We as Kisi Diocese Youth, we are grateful for your good work in our diocese. We continue praying for Bishop Joseph Mairura as he continues shepherding the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. And we call upon all to collaborate with him as he witnesses our blessed Lord among God's people. May Jesus the High Priest continue to guide him and bless him in the years to come. Happy Silver Jubilee. Thank you.